Hey, um, let's finish this good, though, and react to that ground, all right? Come on, man. It's been a long summer for both of us. A national championship would be a great way to cap it off for Corman and Blaine Wilson. Wilson getting ready for the vault. In the meantime, the grudge match continues between Roethlisberger and Gatson. Roethlisberger will be on the high bar. He needs to make up a half point to catch the teenager Gatson. Gatson will be on the pommel horse, and he collects his thoughts for the final rotation. The race is on for second. All Blaine Wilson needs to do is basically clear the horse, Tim. Yeah, just, just <laughs> jump over, basically. <laughs> But I know Blaine is planning a lot more than that. The most difficult vault that we've seen in this competition. Same one Jason Gatson used. Handspring laid out front with one and a half twists. That'll do it. It's official. Blaine Wilson becomes just the second gymnast to win not only the NCAA title, but the national championship in two straight years. Good job, Blaine. Good meet. Way to go. And that was great. You know, he could have run down and done a much easier vault, but, you know, there's going to come a time when he's got to walk out on the floor competing against the best in the world, and he's going to need to do vaults like this. Didn't need it today, but it was a good one. Just that small hop on the landing. And Tim, also for his effort, he wins $50,000, and that, as you know, is huge money in this sport. It certainly is, Dan. That is USA Gymnastics incentive money. Finished. And Blaine certainly earned it today. Big 10 style. Go Bucks, baby. <laughs> and plugging his school at Ohio State. Blaine Wilson's work is done. John McCready on the horse in fourth place after five rotations. A chance to finish very high. This critical one pommel work doing very well. Long competition. Remember we mentioned earlier John has been battling with a partially torn bicep. But going through no problem, just the dismount. Oh, and right when you thought he was going to make it through, he just struggles. Not enough gas at the end of that routine. Just like I said, not enough energy at the end of the exercise. His coach, Ron Grant, told me John is far less physically prepared for this competition than he is accustomed to. He needs to get back up on the pommel horse, though. His routine isn't over yet. He has not completed a dismount. So basically, he'll just swing around and go through the handstand and get off the horse. And not a bad day, all things considered, for John McCready. Now the 97 championships complete for the man from the University of Colorado. Which brings us now to John Roethlisberger on the high bar. Again, needs to make up nearly a half point. He's .45 behind Jason Gatson. This, again, the final rotation and the battle for second place. Now, ladies and gentlemen, back to the high bar. And remember, this is John Roethlisberger, and there is no way that he is not going to fight till the bitter end. No question about that. And this is actually a very good position. Remember, this is a higher scoring event than the pommel horse, and we just saw McCready struggle. Jason Gatson could also have some problems. It's not that strong of an event for Jason. And you know Roethlisberger knows all about that. I mean, this guy is intense. Here comes his release skill right here. Does a lot of things in combination in this exercise. Little bit of a problem there. Cost him about a tenth of a point. Nice one-arm sequence right there. Just the dismount to put a little bit more pressure on the youngster. Small step on the landing, but... Will it be good enough to hold off Gatson? Here is John's release skill. He's added 
a half twist to this, kind of catches in what we call a cross grip and turns his body after he goes through the bottom here, a new wrinkle in the exercise, and he's hopeful that the judges give him connection into this next skill. And he's hopeful to hold off the kid. The 9-1 on the high bar for Roethlisberger. Well, it's certainly no question about it. That puts a lot of pressure on Jason Gatson. Pommel horse, like I said, a little bit tighter of an event score-wise. And as you mentioned a little bit earlier, Dan, and rightfully so, the pommel horse very much like the balance beam. Anything can happen here. He needs an 8.65 to stay in second place and hold off Roethlisberger. He can do that, but he needs a good exercise. A little bit of form break right there. Oh, once again, small breaks, but he's definitely holding this thing together. One dismount away. Great national championships, and I, I would say it's going to be very, very close, Dan. 17-year-old Jason Gatson needed an 8.65 to hold on to second place. Great day. John Roethlisberger trying to cap off what would be a remarkable comeback. Dismal start, first day of competition, trying to take over second. But we're going to see a lot of this kid in the future. Good job. And there is Roethlisberger watching very intently the horse routine of Gatson. And you can tell by the expression on Roethlisberger's face, it's close. 835, not good enough, and John Roethlisberger has passed the 17-year-old Jason Gatson. And you know, Dan, that is just vintage Roethlisberger. Never say die. He is always going to be in there fighting, scraping all the way till the end. Father and son embrace. He didn't win it, but maybe it's one of his most satisfying national championships. In the meantime, the winner is with Beth Ruiak. Congratulations, Blaine. Back-to-back -back national championships. Uh, it feels good. It feels good. Right now, I, I don't know what to say, you know, or what to think. Um, I just came into this competition to try and hit 12 for 12, and I think I was 10 for 12 with a couple of bobbles here and there, but it feels good. Well, from high bar all the way to vault, you actually looked more calm, more confident than prelims. So what was what made the difference? Why are you feeling stronger tonight? Um, actually, I was more tired today than I was during prelims. But, you know, I just tried to come out here and, and you know, Pete said, get mad, get angry, do something. And uh, that's what I did. You know, I tried to come out here and do the best that I could. In the end, he was something else. A championship of historical proportions for Blaine Wilson. In the sport of gymnastics, a winning margin of 3.2 constitutes a blowout. And this week in the rarefied era of Denver, no one soared higher than Blaine Wilson, America's champion again. For Tim Daggett and Beth Royak, I'm Dan Hicks. So long from the Mile High City.